next on Dress to Kill. I'd like to introduce you to Chriselle Lim. Hi, stylist. Your challenge for today is to style a revenge outfit. I'm just gonna go for, for it. it. Go for it. <laughs> I almost expected her model to pull a whip out of the bag <laughs> and like <laughs> crack it. <laughs> Your look has been killed. Six of the country's top stylists will face each other in a head-to-head -head match for points. Then, a single elimination tournament will decide the winner. This is Dress to Kill. Welcome back to the workroom. Thank you. When I enter the workroom, the first thing I notice is someone I haven't seen ever before. And I'm wondering who she is. I first think a judge. I'd like to introduce you to Chriselle Lim former fashion stylist and one of the most influential tastemakers on the web. Hi, stylist. Hi, Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys, too. Instantly, I was like, oh, you know, this. I watch her videos. I know who she is. Don't worry. She's not here to judge you. We know you get enough of that. <laughs> Chriselle is here to help you. I'll take it. <laughs> because today, we're raising the stakes even more. In this challenge, you must dress to kill. Otherwise, you will be eliminated from the competition. Dawn, with two wins and three losses, you must now face Felissa, who has three wins and two losses. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good, I'm ready for the challenge. Confident? <laughs> yes. Good. Felissa, you're coming in here the favorite. How does that make you feel? I've got a little confidence boost going, but anything could happen. Well, bring your A-game, because you're competing for the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to be a featured stylist for Glamour Magazine. Your challenge for today is to style Tiana and Nicole in a revenge outfit. <laughs> the best revenge outfits make the one who got away regret ever letting you go. Mm -hmm. Stylist, you'll have 10 minutes to complete your look. And just because this is an elimination challenge, doesn't mean we forgot the mystery item. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. All right. We'd like to see you incorporate a cutout shirt into your looks. You can make your own, or you can use a cutout item found in the workroom. Get crazy with it, because you're out for revenge. <laughs> Good luck to you both. Thank you. Thank you, Whitney. Your time starts now. Okay, so you're working with a revenge outfit. Yeah. What do you think of when you think of revenge? You need to know that you're missing everything about this woman, so the dress needs to be everything. I spotted on that rack a mm -hmm. blue skirt. I have it tying it out right now. Uh -huh. What I'm cool. thinking, worst case scenario, is I might do like a little okay. cutout in the back here. Like mm -hmm. cut the shirt so out. you're gonna cut out. Yeah. yeah. Felissa, I love this dress. This cutout is so unexpected. I know. Like, I've never seen a cut like this. Now, there's a lot happening. What do you think about that? Well, should we just keep it maybe a little more simple on the accessories? So let's get some accessories for her. I'm just gonna go for right, it. Go for it. <laughs> okay, so Dawn. So I decided to just try to go with it. I mm -hmm. hope that I do this cut the right way. <laughs> okay. So what kind of cutout are you I'm cutting right I'm now? I'm thinking about doing like a little pattern down the front. You know what? Can you do me a favor and flip this shirt around? I'm going with a major cutout in the back. I like the idea of a back cutout because yeah. there's not as much, you know, exactly. studs you know, going on in the back. I am liking what <laughs> I see so far. I just this is killer. <laughs> yeah. All right, ladies, time is up, hands off. All right, we'll see you in the judges' room. Love it. Hello, stylists. You remember our judge, Christina Perez, style development editor for Glamour Magazine? Hi, Christina. Hi. And I'd like to introduce you to Rajni Jock fashion news editor for Glamour Magazine. Hello. Hi. Dawn, 
Tell us what you put together. I put a cut in the back of her shirt. The back is the sexiest part of the body. Any guy loves this curve right here. So I decided to show that off. And then after that, I put this awesome skirt that has the studding all over it that just screams fierce. I'm fearless and ready to go. So I love that. A little animal print, but it's subtle because it's mixing with the gold metallic in the shoe. And that kind of ties the whole thing in. And then I was really looking for a necklace and I couldn't find one, so I grabbed one off of a clutch because I wanted something a little bit longer and chunkier to tie in the studs in the bottom. So that necklace actually came from the handle of a bag. Yes. I wanted multiple use. I feel like it's important and girls need to see that you can use other things for other purposes. Do you think the hole is big enough or sexy enough? I do. It really shows off our whole back. You can't wear a bra with this look, so that kind of makes it a little bit more sexy because you are really kind of letting yourself go and being, uh, you know, very sexy. Yeah, really letting yourself yes. go. <laughs> and why couldn't you cut out from the back of that? Why did you have to use the back as the front? I had the shirt on the right way, the first way, and the cut didn't cut right, didn't cut up high, like this is not high enough in the back, and I want it a little bit higher. Can we see the okay. back again? You didn't cut it out, and on the bottom it's out. It's a, a circle, circle. It's not a circle. It's actually tied in the, bo in the, in uh, the bottom to okay. make it. I wanted to give it that so you could really see the shape of her back. I could see like the pulling on the sides. Of the yeah. Sides. That would have been cuter to maybe see the I, I left the it out at first, but I felt like it might have looked a little too messy. Yeah. Have you ever worn a revenge outfit? I haven't. <laughs> so it's kind of fun to put one together because I was imagining everything that I would kind of want to wear. Thank you, Don. Thank you. Felissa, tell us about your look. I love this outfit. I picked it up and it was just such the unexpected cutout. I decided to accessorize with some beautiful vintage looking pieces and this bag, I can see her strutting away from him and him just with his jaw to the floor like, what was I thinking? How did you choose the shoes? I love the shoes because they didn't take away from everything happening up here. They just really accentuated it and the, the back design element brought in some of the vintage pieces and the colors. Did you go through any of the shirts in the workroom and think about cutting them and not find something or? I really wanted to find a cutout item that was already designed that way. I think it's a great trend that's happening right now and and the workroom had this piece just made for her. Do you think you took your creativeness to the fullest level? I didn't think that it was necessary to cut a piece in order to give the effect of the cutout look. This dress is just so classic and beautiful and well executed that really my creativity lied in bringing all of the elements together to create an overall feeling for her. Where do you imagine that she's running into him wearing this? She's on her way to another date. <laughs> and she could care less what he thinks about it. She is so excited about the next guy in her life. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you, Whitney. You both have given us a lot to think about. You may return to the workroom. Thank you. All right, let's discuss Dawn's look. I feel like overall, there was just way too much going on. But the one thing I liked about it is that she was creative in turning the shirt over and making the cutout. But what I've been seeing with all the contestants is sometimes they don't take a step back and look at what they've created and streamline it. It's like they're just piling things yeah. on just for the it's sake of just it. Just to pile things on. Right, so. they think they're being creative, but in fact, they're just cluttering up the model. I feel like she really took the revenge theme seriously. I almost expected her model to pull a whip out of the bag and like <laughs> crack it. <laughs> she looks so severe. So she was fierce. She was fierce. She was fierce. Which fierce. is definitely a positive. Yeah. I also did like her color palette. The colors were great. I was a little thrown off at the shoes. Yes. There were at times where I was looking at her outfit and it just, for some reason, it screamed cheap. I really didn't think she needed that necklace. No. Like, it didn't add anything to the outfit, and in fact, I think it detracted. So, Velissa's look. I really liked Velissa's look. I actually just thought the styling was cool, and I would definitely wear it, and I liked the neutral color palette. I loved the color palette. I loved the little peekaboo cutout. For me, the shoes were 
perfectly matched. Mm -hmm. It was a beautiful outfit. The thing that bothered me about it was that it was a dress. I mean, right. it's so easy to go to Iraq and grab an amazing dress, and of course you're gonna have a great outfit. I mean, that's why we all love dresses, right? You, go, you grab your favorite one it's and you an look instant. great. Yeah. One stop shop. Yeah. One stop right. shop, you know you're gonna look good. Was it that creative? I don't know. Right, when I gave them the challenge, I was kind of hoping they were gonna go for the tank tops because I wanted to see their skill in that. I wanted to see their creativity because it's hard to make just a plain tank top look cool and sexy. I just can't get past the fact that it's a total cop out to just grab a great dress and put it on. To me, that's not really styling. Sure, she picked good accessories, but when you have a dress that great, you really don't need to add much more. Especially when the stakes are so high at this point in the competition, when you really want to see someone's creativity, just opposed to how someone can accessorize something, you need to do more. You just need to do more than that. No, I co-sign with what you both are saying. I just looks great, but there is a lack of creativity. There is a lack of, you know, like that stylist intuition behind that outfit. I would have liked to see her get down and dirty, cut something up, you know, pair something with something, run around the room, grab a short, that doesn't work, grab a skirt, like get into the act of styling because that's, that's what stylists what do, it is. you know? This is a big decision for us because we're actually sending somebody home, but let's call the stylist back. Yep. Alyssa, yes. I question your creativity in this challenge. It's a beautiful outfit that you've put together, but grabbing a dress off the rack and adding a few accessories does not a super talented stylist make. I expected a little bit more creativity from you. This is a really, really gorgeous look. I think you picked a really great pair of shoes, a really great bag, and a really great bracelet and ring but I just would have liked to see a little bit more. Don, one thing I do have to say is there's a lot going on here. And I think as a stylist, what you need to learn is to kind of take a step back and see if all of it works together. But I really do love your color scheme. The mint to the beige, so great. It was on all the runways and I feel like you obviously are doing your homework. Love your creativity, love the colors love the silhouette and love the way that you were able to take a shirt and make it into something that was 10 times better. Thank you. It all comes down to this. The person who dressed to kill is... Melissa. Oh, thank you guys. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. <laughs> While we would have loved to see more creativity in your look, it was the perfect revenge outfit. All right, <laughs> thank you. I'm so ecstatic I won the revenge challenge. It was just meant to be that I was gonna be in the runnings for the final winner and just like ecstatic to have that win. I'm sorry, Dawn. Your look has been killed. It's okay, thank you for that opportunity. It was really fun. I don't agree with the judge's decision because I think I put the effort in. And I think when it comes down to it, putting the effort into something and showing that this is a challenge that you're given and how you're able to make it work shows a lot. You may take your model and go. Thank you. I would love the opportunity to work with Glamour one day. I think it would be wonderful. It's a fantastic magazine. Congratulations, Melissa. You survived another day in the workroom, and that means you're going to the finale. How do you feel? I'm so excited. Thank you, ladies, so much. We'll keep it up, and we look forward to seeing you in the finale. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Next time on Dress to Kill. Your challenge today is to style for a holiday party. My only thing with this outfit is that, you know, there is a space of the opening in the jacket. It was just looking at us. Oh, I couldn't right. stop looking at it. Are you okay? To see who dresses to kill next, subscribe to the Glamour channel, leave a comment on the comments below, and follow us on Twitter at Glamour Mag.